Physics Academy channel. Let us learn about the K map. K is referred to as Karnoff map. So in this lecture, we are going to see a three input variable K map. To draw this, again, we have to find out how many boxes you need to draw. So for this, we have again two raised to n, which is nothing but two raised to three, which is eight boxes, four rows. Okay. In first row, we have four columns. You can see here one, two, three, four boxes, and downwards also four boxes. You can see how to draw is we have to select such a number, a term which should be deferred only in one literal. You can see zero, zero, it is zero, one. This one is changing, then again. 0 1 it is 1 1 then again 1 1 it is 0 this variable is changing this is 0 and this is 1 this is a this is b c now i will show you how to write down the numbers so these boxes represent the position of the k map position of the truth table this is 0 position 1 3 2 4 5 7 6 now enter the f that is the output of the truth table so 0 0 0 a b c it is 0 0 0 it is 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 it is 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 is here it is 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 is 1 then 1 0 0 is 0 1 0 1 is 0 1 0 1 is 0 1 1 0 is 1 then 1 1 1 is again 1. So this is how we are going to write. In the next class, we will see how to solve this K map also. How to solve or how to minimize this K map by using different methods. Next class also we will see the four variable K maps. If possible, we will see five variable K maps and how to minimize the expression using this K maps. Basically, the K-map is used for the simplification of the Boolean, Boolean expressions to simplify, to reduce it so that when you are going to implement the structure, when we implement the circuit, that should be minimum circuits, minimum number of gates must be required to design that will reduce the cost of application or implementation. That is the use of the K-map. There are many other methods which we will see in the future classes. So, for now, thank you.